Hello, this is William K. Alongside me is Colin and Cooper. Today we are going to be talking about the NBA Finals. Make sure to call us at um, 423-129-3142. Colin, who do you think is going to win this year's Finals? Um, I think Nuggets in six or seven games. I mean, Jokic, they, he just an incredible paint player. Uh, just really fun to watch him play. What do you think, Cooper? Um, I think that uh, Miami is just going to pull off the win in seven games because uh, it's quite the battle that those both, two, uh, both those teams are having against each other. And I think, um, you see, if you put Jogic in a scoring position and you're just using him to score, he can't get back in time. And it's just easy layups for Miami. I'm going to agree with Cooper here because – Sure, Jokic is good. He's sort of slow on that hand. And Butler here, he's he's going to carry them. And I think Miami is going to find a way to grind it out in seven games. Uh, not saying that like the Heat don't deserve it. They definitely do. Jimmy Butler's uh, one of the more respected veterans. He's been at this for a long time. But if you put Jamal Murray in a shooting position like they currently have him at now, he can get back really quickly on all of those layups. Uh, yes, uh, I will say Jokic is pinning down Bam out of Iowa right now, but I feel like if Jimmy Butler and Bam can just talk talk some stuff and uh, make some sense out of each other, then they can definitely pull off uh, this win and shut. If we can, if the Miami can shut down Jokic, it should be easy dubs. Well, it looks like we have a caller here. What do you have to say about this topic, Chris? Hey, so NBA Finals have been pretty fun so far, but I'm kind of like curious about Jimmy Butler. Does he have the stamina and the willpower to get him a few more wins here down the stretch to clinch this title? I mean, he had a 40-point blow-up in the end game. I believe it was game two against Boston in the previous series, but he hasn't really had a huge offensive explosion like that since. So does he need to have a big night for the Heat to be able to win the title? I feel like that's going to be the right thing that the Heat need to do, Chris. Um, I feel like Jimmy Butler can do it. I mean, he's basically him. And if the team works together, I definitely think they have the skill, the strategy, and everything to pull off the win. It might be in seven games. They might be really tired. They might not do it well next year, but I think they're going to be able to pull it off this year. I will say, uh, uh, Jimmy Butler being, he's already proved this, uh, that he does not have to score points to be effective. He is getting his teammates involved, uh, making them score points. Uh, he's been pretty high in assists, been e- like getting easy buckets, just making like spreading the team out. You know, getting the uh, easiest plays possible. Um, but you said that Jimmy Butler, he has to put up good numbers. He is like the best player on the Heat, one hundred percent. But like as in game one, they the Nuggets absolutely shut him down only scored 13 points when he normally has higher averages, like in the 20s. So what do you think about that? Like, Do you uh, think the Nuggets can pull it off like that? Uh, well, if uh, Jimmy Butler, it, it's just it's, he's so unpredictive, you know. Uh, he can either be uh, like he's going to have a good defender like uh, Jogic or Murray on him, and it may uh, get him a little shook, but if – if he's having a good good game, then it's almost impossible to shut him down. I agree with that one. I feel like, sure, Jokic and them might be able to shut him down. 13 points. Okay, that's one game. That's not his whole average through the season. He's averaging, like, about when, pretty much more than 20 for the season. And I just think that was luck for on game one whenever they only shot him down to 13 points. And, um... I think if the Heat got one more player, they would definitely win. But right now, I'm pretty sure they're going to be able to get the title, take it from the Nuggets, and, yeah, they're going to take it in seven. Thanks for listening here on Sports Talk Radio. This is your host, William, alongside me, Colin and Cooper.